Namaste everyone. Um, in this video today we have a 20 minute practice for you to do simple postures and simple sun salutations every day and it won't take much of your time. Now on this video we're not showing any variations or modifications to each of the poses but you can go to our, our tutorials and you'll find a variation for each one of them. Hope you enjoy it. Namaste. Let's begin with Surya Namaskar A. Inhale, raise your arms up, hands together, look at your thumb. Exhale, take the hands down, hopefully flat on the floor right next to your feet. Inhale, extend the spine. Exhale, walk the feet back, plank pose, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. If you want to walk your feet a little bit forward, go ahead and do that. Make sure your hands are well grounded on the floor. Spread the fingers. Elongate the arms. Draw the shoulder blades back and bring the tailbone up. Try to have your back straight. Relax the heels down and spread your toes. And hold it there for um, three to five breaths. And then bend the knees, inhale, step with the feet back between your hands, lengthening the spine, look up. Exhale, back to Uttanasana. Inhale, raise the arms up, hands together, gaze at your thumb. Exhale, Samastitihi. Now we're gonna repeat two more times. Inhale, arms come up again. Exhale, hands go down, Uttanasana. Inhale, look up, extend your spine. Exhale, step with the feet back, bend the elbows, chaturanga. Inhale, roll the toes, upward facing dog. Exhale, roll the toes, downward facing dog. And again, we're gonna hold it here, five breaths. So make sure your breath is completely relaxed. Keep your spine as long as it can be and try to keep your legs straight but if you're bending your spine maybe you want to bend the knees just a little. And now bend the knees, so step with the feet back between your hands, look up and exhale, go back to Uttanasana, inhale Take the arms back up. Exhale, Samasiti He. Last time. This time you can jump if you want to. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands flat on the floor. Forward bend. Inhale, extend in the spine. And now you're going to walk or jump your feet back. Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Lengthening the chest up. Exhale, down dog. And again, we're going to take a rest here. Five breaths. Inhaling. Exhaling. Now bend the knees, inhale, jump or walk the feet back between your hands, look up. Exhale, Uttanasana again, inhale, the arms come all the way back up, hands together, gaze at the thumb, exhale, Samasitihi. Surya Namaskar B, bend the knees, arms up, inhale, exhale, extend the knees, hands down, flat on the floor. Inhale, look all the way up. Exhale, back to plank posture, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Step with the right foot forward, drop the back heel down to the floor. Inhale, arms come up, hands together. Look at your thumb. Exhale, take your feet back, plank, chaturanga. Inhale, 
Urva Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Second side, to step with the left foot forward, drop the back heel down, raise the arms up, inhaling. Exhale, hands back down to the floor, plank pose, Chaturanga. Lengthening the spine, look all the way up, exhale. Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. And hold it here, five breaths. Now bend the knees, inhale, step with the feet back between your hands, look up, exhale, hands flat on the floor, bend the knees, arms up, inhaling, exhale, back to Samastitihi, and we repeat one more time, bend the knees, Utkatasana, inhale, exhale, flow the arms all the way down, Uttanasana. Inhale, lengthening the spine, look up. Exhale, jump or step back, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Thighs away from the floor. Exhale, downward facing dog. Step with the right foot forward, the back heel down. Inhale, beat up a dress and a one. Exhale, hands flat on the floor, back to plank, Chaturanga. Inhale, Upward facing dog, exhale, downward facing dog. Second side, left foot forward, back heel down to the floor, bend the front knee, take the arms up, exhale, take your hands down, step back into your plank, Chaturanga. Inhale, open the heart up, exhale, roll the toes, downward facing dog. And again in here, we're going to rest for five breaths. Make sure you're sticking the tailbone up and back. Keep looking at your belly so you can relax the muscles in your neck. Make sure you have plenty of space between your ears and your shoulders so there's no tension on the neck. And when you're done, bend the knee. Softly jump back or walk back, look up, inhaling. Exhale, fall forward, bend the knees, chair pose, Utkatasana, Samasthiti Hi. Step with the feet separate, hip distance apart, and as you exhale, you're going to come all the way down and grab your big toes. Inhale, lengthening the spine, look up, exhale, bend the elbows, and come all the way in a forward bend. So keep pressing your toes down to the floor and keep engaging the quadriceps and your lower belly so you can bring the hips a little bit forward. Feel that you're separating the seat bones and sticking the tailbone up and from there lengthening the spine. Inhale, extend the spine, gaze up. Exhale, take the hands back to the hips and come all the way back up. And now step with the feet back together, Samastiti Hip. Uttita Trikonasana, step with the left foot back, stand the arms to the sides, reach all the way forward and take your hand down. Opposite arm up. While you stay in the pose, try to guide the right sit bone towards the back heel. Keep elongating the spine and make an effort to keep your chest in line with the hip. Hold it there for five breaths. Now look down, inhale, come on up, exhale, just turn your toes around and do the second side. Take the arm down, opposite arm up. As much as you can, try to keep both arms in the same line. If you feel comfortable, gaze at your thumb. Keep the back as straight as possible. Keep the legs strong. 
Look down again. Inhale, come all the way back up. Exhale, turn your feet back around. Go back to Samastitihi. Parasvakonasana. Step with the left foot back as far as you can. Bend the front knee 90 degree angle. Take the right hand down and bring the left arm forward, creating a line between the back heel and the fingertip. Keep the back leg strong, keep pressing the outer edge of the back foot and lower the hip as much as you can. Now look down, inhale, come on up and turn to the second side. Bend the left knee, hand flat on the floor and bring the opposite arm forward. If you can, you're gonna gaze at the palm of your hand as long as you don't have any pain on your neck. Keep breathing deeply, lengthening the spine, bending the front knee, and now inhale, come on up, and come back to Samastitihi. Prasarita A, step with the left foot back and bring your feet parallel. Open them up as much as you can, and on your exhale, you're gonna bring the hands down. Lengthen the spine, look up. Exhale, bend the elbows, and drop the head down. Now. The head might go all the way down to the floor, or it might not. Don't worry about it. So try to keep the elbows bent and roll the shoulder blades back and keep the spine as straight as it can be. Make sure that the hips and the heels are on the same line and engage your quadriceps as you pull some weight forward. Now inhale, lengthening the spine again. Exhale, take the hands on the hips. Keep the legs strong as you come up, inhaling. And as you exhale, step back into Samastiti. Now we're moving down to the floor with Abhinyasa. Inhale, raise the arms up. Exhale, take your hands flat on the floor. Inhale, look up. Exhale, step back. You can jump too. Bend the elbows, Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, exhale, down dog. And we're gonna come into a sitting position. So bring one of the legs forward and cross the other leg behind and sit down. Once you're in the floor, you're gonna extend your legs forward and you're gonna bring the sit bone back. The idea is to have the pelvic floor grounded on the floor. Grab the big toes, inhale, lengthening the spine and exhale. Come all the way down. Pashimottanasana. We're gonna hold it here for five breaths. If you can, you're gonna keep the legs straight, but maybe you're gonna need to micro bend the knees or just bend them a little bit. Inhale, extend the spine. And exhale, you're gonna see if you can interlock the fingers behind your feet and come again into Paschimottanasana. Hold it there, resting. Work on lengthening the spine from the tailbone up to the top of the head. And now come out of the pose. Inhale, extend the spine. Exhale, slowly you're gonna release the pose and move into the second posture. Janusirsasana, you're gonna keep the left leg straight and you're gonna bend the right knee, bringing the heel as close as you can in your inner groin. Lengthening the torso, you're gonna come forward. Bring your hands around the left foot and as you exhale, you're going to rest the belly down on the left thigh. Rest the chest and maybe even rest the forehead down on your leg. Keep lengthening the front of the torso. And then to come out of the pose, inhale, you're going to lengthen the spine and exhale, you're going to release Release your leg, and you're gonna switch to the second side. Bend the left knee, try to keep it in a 90 degree angle. Turn the torso, so the navel, the belly is gonna fall right onto the right thigh. 
and hold it there, five breaths. To come out of the pose, take a deep inhale, extend the torso, exhale, release. Come back with the leg straight. Mari Chasana C, bend the right knee, keep the left leg straight. Rotate from your waistline all the way to the right and bring the fingertips on the floor. Keep grounding that pelvic floor on the floor and lengthening the spine from the pelvic floor up to the sternum and then as you exhale you're gonna try to twist deeper into the pose hold it there and then when you're done you're gonna exhale come back to center and you're gonna switch to the second side bend the opposite leg and rotate again from the waistline all the way back Make sure you keep grounding the right thigh and the tailbone down on the floor. And as much as you can, you're going to keep the back straight. And when you exhale, you're going to twist deeper every time. Once you're done, you're going to release the pose and extend both legs up to the front. So now we're going to move into Navasana. Bend the knees, feet on the floor, roll the shoulder blades back, keep the back straight, and take the legs up. You're gonna hold this posture for five breaths. As much as you can, you're gonna try to breathe easily. Then when you're done, relax for a moment, take your feet down, and then come up again. Let's repeat. Keep the seat bones grounded towards the floor, and keep the sternum open. Keep the legs strong. And then when you're ready, you're gonna rest again. We're gonna repeat one last time. And again, the legs are straight, but you can bend them if, if that's too much for you. If you have them straight, you're gonna keep them at 45, 50 degree angle floor, from the floor. When you're done, bring your feet back down to the floor. Now slowly we're gonna move our backs down into the floor. Take your time. And once your back is flat on the floor, you're gonna bring your knees towards your chest. Hug your legs and press your knees gently towards your chest. So we're gonna bring the heels as close as we can from the sit bones, shoulders away from the ears. And on your next inhale, you're gonna lift the hips up. Walk the shoulders in a little bit more and try to see if you can touch your heels. Try for your knees to stay on the same line as your hips and keep pushing your hips up without forcing it. Yes, just using the strength of your body, the strength of your breath. Then as you exhale, you're going to come down and rest for a moment before we give it a try again. Now again, push your feet on the floor and inhale, coming up. Roll the shoulder blades together and see if you can interlock your fingers behind. Keep pressing the hands down to the floor and again, push your hamstrings up and maybe even the chest towards the chin. And then exhale, come all the way back down, release the hand. You can repeat one of those variations or you can try the last one. So on the last variation, when you inhale, you're gonna come up and you're gonna bring your hands all the way on your lower back. Bring the elbows in, shoulder blades back, shoulders away from the ears, and keep pushing with your hands up 
to lift up the hips and bring the chest towards your chin. As you exhale, you're going to release the pose and come all the way down. And now bring the knees all the way to the chest to extend the lower back and give it a good rest. Now the last pose is a very gentle inversion. Grab a block, you can use the block flat or tall. Choose any length that works for you, but you're going to put it on the sacrum. Make sure you feel comfortable because you're going to hold it for a while. You're going to take the legs up. Hopefully the heels are going to be in line with the hip and you're going to keep the legs straight. And you're going to stay here for a while. I recommend to hold this posture for one or two minutes. Inversions are very beneficial for the body and they don't have to be a strong inversion. Anything, any opportunity you can take your legs up, go ahead and do that. So you can give your body a rest. So this is the end of the practice. After this, you can take Shavasana. This is a very gentle practice that you can do every day. Yoga doesn't have to be intense in order for you to get all the benefits of the practice. 20 minutes of simple postures can make a big change in your life. So I encourage you to give it a try and do this routine for five days a week for three weeks and see if you notice any difference. Once you're done, take your legs down, lift up the hips, relax the tailbone down, and then again bring your knees up to the chest for the last time. Roll to the sides, massage your back, and when you're ready, you're going to take the legs down and you're going to enjoy Shavasana. <laughs>